guys, um, <clears throat> that's awkward. I hate, why are my intros so uncomfortable? Okay. Hello everybody, you're back. Well, I don't know why you returned really, I don't. Uh, anyway, so given that I was just in California for the entire week, um, including Valentine's Day, I recently just got home and I saw my mom and all that and it was pretty great. And I saw my boyfriend, which was pretty great. Um, and given that it was just Valentine's Day as well, I thought I'd talk about love. Because what is more comfortable than that? I don't know. So here we go. <laughs> Grab onto your pants, buckle up. All right. So when I was younger, the thought of love never really crossed my mind. Um, I mean, I knew that, I mean, you know, I knew I loved my parents. <clears throat> And I knew they loved me, and it was in like the kid to parent, you know, loving way. That just kind of happens. That's normal when you're young. But like being eight and nine, I didn't really know what it was like to be in love with someone. And I guess like I knew I thought it, you know, I like knew it was a feeling. I thought it was a feeling. And so, you know, you watch those like romantic comedies or whatever, and it's always like, I don't know, I love you. And he's like, I don't want you to move in. And it's a big hot mess. And I was like, well, I don't want any part of that. That doesn't sound like it's fun at all. And I'm not saying loving someone doesn't feel wild because I guess it does kind of, you know? But I'm just saying it's like not normally like the movies because movies are not real. They're like scripted. And I feel like everybody has a different definition of love, like a different, um, and a different way of showing that they love someone. There's so many different ways of showing people that you love them, and most of the time, no one even knows it, so, you know, that's comforting, am I right? But as you grow older and you fall in love, I think you kind of realize that loving someone isn't really only a feeling, it kind of turns more into a choice, because you're choosing to actively love your significant other, I think you would call it. Um, that's right, isn't it? Anyway, you're choosing to love them. You're choosing to care for them and like buy them food or gifts or whatever on Valentine's Day. And I think that's kind of when you realize like when I was like eight or whatever and I was like, oh, love is just a feeling. Then you realize, you know, now that I'm like, you know, almost 18, you realize it's a choice. Like you see your parents and all that and you see the way other people love you other people you realize it's a choice it's not just a feeling and so i guess that brings me to the fact that love isn't easy it's really hard it's it's like it seems like the greatest thing but it's also one of the worst things i was like i read this quote or whatever that said love is like a slap in the face yet also a warm hug it's like someone slaps you and then they hug you right after i feel like that is the perfect example of love because you get hurt, but yet it's so comforting at the same time. Hence, slap in the face and a hug. And I guess I'd say that my definition of love is finding someone that you're, I guess, so you, I mean, you can love a friend too, you know what I mean? So just love all around, not just for your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. That, um, anyway, my definition of love, I think, would be you find someone that is just like you, yet so different from you in so many ways yet they're willing to care for you and put up with you and work for you no matter what the case is. I think that's a pretty good definition of love. I don't know, I'm only 17. <laughs> Ugh. Um, but I do feel like, what was I gonna say? Also, love is just kind of like clicking with someone. You just like them a lot. Like, you just start liking them and you're like, okay, well I really, really like this person and then it just kind of goes into that. And I think it's pretty great. Um, I also don't think love is as big as a deal as like everybody makes it seem. It's not like, you know, I mean, you just love people. It's not that huge of a deal. And I think it's always so often, of, often like, it's put on this huge pedestal and poor love is like, stop expecting everything out of me, yet everybody does and you just gotta like know that it's not perfect, nothing's perfect, it's okay. I just think that love is something you really have to work for if you want it, and if you want to keep it, then you gotta work for it, you know? Like, do the dishes for your mom, do the laundry for your sister, bake a cake for your girlfriend or boyfriend. That, it's just as simple as that. It's really not that simple, but pretend it is. 
And I guess I just want to end this video on a couple of questions. Uh, are you one of those people that doesn't know if they believe in love or not? And do you believe in love? Do you not believe in love? Um, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word love or when you think of love? And what's your definition of love? You know, I guess that's kind of a big one. But uh, anyway, other than that, that is it. I talk to you about love. You're welcome. See you guys later. We're done. We're done.